Yo, what is poppin'? Good day, Marcus. W Q Q Q Q W R T here. You already know what it is and who it is and what's good. You already know everything. Now, gamers, this is a huge, huge deal. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you're missing out because people who subscribe to my YouTube channel become alpha gamers. And so, if you want to become an alpha gamer, hit the subscribe button. And you become an alpha gamer, just this is huge. This is a very big opportunity. And now, gamers, this is a big deal. If you want to buy my t-shirts, if you really want to see a real permanent improvement in your gameplay, a real improvement in your gameplay, make sure to buy my t-shirts at AlphaGamer. Teespring.com slash WTShop. It's the best website in the world. And it allows you to buy t-shirts that say AlphaGamer on them. And they also say my name on the back. It's pretty cool. It's a really good opportunity from WQ himself. It's a big deal. It's going to improve your gameplay. Permanently improve your gameplay. Now, gamers, let's move on to... The biggest news story of the day. So on my Twitter, I'm checking my Twitter, I'm checking my likes, I get 99 new notifications every day. I'm like, wow, that's incredible, guys. So thanks for all the retweets and likes, guys. You guys are changing the world one step at a time. Now, gamers, one person on my Twitter actually posted this image that they bought a fish hat, an orange fish hat. I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. And they named it WQQQQWRT, like a real alpha gamer. Now, this person is a real winner. So yeah, this is actually in reference to my music video you know most dangerous music video in speed running you know what's good you know because i already know yeah this is music video i made two years ago it's a big deal it's a game changer um a lot of people are like wow this is really good this is really made and you did it all organically all yourself you did all the editing yourself you did, you did the vocals yourself like it's really good stuff like hey this is cool can we get more of this and yeah this person actually liked my music video so much that they bought their own fish hat and actually i don't even think it's a hat but they put it on their head anyway <laughs> they know they break the rules but yeah big shout out to see that's really awesome that's really cool and uh make sure that you let yourself know that you're a winner and you're winning and you're doing the biggest things in the world so yeah i actually wanted to talk about narcissa right the most controversial figure in speedrunning uh, one of the biggest people in all of speedrunning's history one of the biggest streamers of all time actually Narcissima, uh, known as Cosmo, back when Cosmo was streaming a lot, was known as one of literally the biggest streamers on the whole Twitch platform, which is like huge, had their own global emo, which is a great emo, and it's like, this was huge, this was actually game changing. Now then there was this transition, um, this, this transition period uh, when Cosmo turned into Narcissa and things started to go downhill. I've always wondered like, was this because Cosmo transitioned into Narcissa and then people hate the transgender stuff, and so they started not watching the new Narcissa, or is, was there like an internal struggle inside of Cosmo at the time, and then when he went through the transition, he was making a lot of bad decisions um, that coincided with the transition, and then people were just like, this is weird, like getting rid of the global emote. I felt like that actually what did hurt the Cosmo or Narcissus stock a lot. Now gamers, I would love to believe that the transitioning is what destroyed um, who was once known as Cosmo's career, Narcissus' career, absolutely destroyed it. I would love to believe that because every single example where you look at someone who transitions in gaming, yeah, their career, career goes down the toilet. I would love to believe that, but the, there's a few people that have transitioned, either they gained success off of it or um, their career didn't die. I'm thinking of Blair White and then Caitlyn Jenner. Blair White was like super trans and also very, um, what do you call it, conservative. And I think it's possible Blair White was like a counterculture thing, so that's why that didn't happen. But actually, I don't think so because like I used to watch Blair White videos and truthfully, it just saw this person uh, as a person. I just saw Blair White as a human being, as a person, they had ideas, you know. It, it didn't really like affect me too much. Now Blair White did get a ton of plastic surgery and he, he looks like a freak right now. So um, I do think that's bad like in hindsight. Now, the thing about Caitlyn Jenner is that Caitlyn Jenner is like way more mainstream than uh, anybody in the gaming world. So it's like, eh, maybe, maybe there's more going on, but let's look at, let's go back to gaming. Let's go back to Narcissa. I would love to believe it's the trans thing, but I actually, yeah, I don't really think it was. I think a lot of it was just the bad decisions that Narcissa made in the past three, four years. They just kept adding up and we're going to talk about not speedrunning anymore moving away from speedrunning to smash 4 which was like a really bad call and then also what happened with getting rid of the global emote banning people in the chat the constant weird cringy like behaviors on stream the very lazy low level content on stream i mean just doing 12 hour streams or like sleeping for six hours like come on no one's watching this garbage so i think a lot of the problems with um narcissa and actually all the trans speedrunners there's a lot i've seen they all the careers died by the way, but I think all of them actually, it's just because they had like other problems in their head, like mental disorders or just problems in life. And then 
that kind of crept into their channel, and then I think that's actually what killed their channel, but I, I'm curious, they actually legitimately could just be the trans stuff, like, truthfully, like, let's be real, let's be honest, yeah, it could just totally be the trans stuff, because from what I see, people don't like the trans stuff, they don't feel comfortable with it. The only people that say they're comfortable with the trans stuff are, like, really defensive, um, hyper-ideological -ideolo liberals who you just can't trust these people because they're like lying to themselves. Then you have other trans people, which again, it's like, it's not a very good sample size. I mean sample source, it's bad sample source. And then you have like these super cucked, uh, effeminate soy boys. And it's like, yeah, these guys are obviously like too beta to actually say what they think, so they don't really count. And then you have like 15 year old kids who really just aren't old enough. So you do not have a good sample source that is supporting trans people or transition. It just doesn't exist. Like, like nobody actually likes people who transition. You have a lot of people who are really vocally against it for a lot of good reasons and a wide variety of ages, wide variety of incomes, you know, it's so, it's really hard to agree with the trans thing, but I think it's interesting because Narcissa actually is, I think Narcissa's career, streaming career, um, at least what we know now is dead. I think it's over. Yeah, it's been a while guys, it's been like, Three years, I want to say three years, maybe like three and a half, but let's just go three years since about 2015 when this really, all this really started. And yeah, this month, yesterday actually, Narcissus Bank account, so Narcissus streams on YouTube. And Narcissa has their own numerical bank account right there on the stream. And it says 1500, yesterday it said 2500, and the past month it's been floating from about 29 to 25. So that's bad because it's going down, it's not going up. And then today it went down a thousand, which means that rent was due, utilities, you know, all that crap was due. So that went down a thousand, which means at this rate, it's going to be about fourteen or fifteen hundred or even eleven hundred a month from now, and then rent's going to be due again, which means that this month and next month are really the last days that we're going to see Narcissa streams. Now, Narcissa was trying to do blood sports to get their stream like jumped up, like boosted up. And it was doing pretty good, but the thing about YouTube is you just don't make money doing YouTube live streams. You, you just, it's just no money. Like nobody donates because Super Chat takes 30%. The subscriptions is awful. There's absolutely no culture for it. There's no scene. You can't get hosts from anybody. Like it really sucks. So even if you get a few hundred viewers, it's not doing anything for you. Yo guys, gamers. I've been playing a lot of RuneScape lately. I've actually been playing like 12, 13 hours of RuneScape past few days lately, and I found this tree. Totally looks like one of the trees I'm planting in RuneScape, which is pretty cool. So shout out, big shout out to this tree. Okay, look at that bad boy, he's growing. Like all gray and dead looking. Uh, you guys ever uh, watch Lord of the Rings, that tree at the end of the Gandalf Tower? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. So yeah, it's actually on Narcissa's blood sports things, and it was interesting, it was okay. Yeah, I, you know you know what my end game, you know what my end game. I mean, let's let's get something real. Let's be real, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. There's a there's a significant transgender population in the speedrun community, correct? We agree on that. Um, it's probably higher than. It's at least pronounced. Uh, it's at least pronounced, right? Like a, ra a random, a random grouping of people, like basketball players or something it's probably higher in speed running yes what okay but it's pronounced it's at least pronounced right <laughs> i mean i mean i pronounce i'm pretty pronounced but it's pretty pronounced though right okay i agree i that's how i feel about it i think a lot of people and i think it has something to do with gaming and sitting in our rooms playing games i don't know why who knows i think it's a good thing i like the gaming i'm trying to turn people into alpha gamers <laughs> I try to talk about off gamers. I'm dead serious on that though. And look, I'm I'm gonna be real with everybody in my chat right now. The trans stuff, I'm not gonna stop talking about it on my YouTube channel. But I'm open to trans speedrunners, anyone, it doesn't matter, girls, guys, anyone, to becoming alpha gamers right now. I'm very open to it. I'm I'm more than open to it. In fact, I'm making a lot of these people into alpha gamers, whether they want to or not. You know, I don't really have anything bad to say about Narcissa, actually, like, the truth is, yeah, your channel's dead, yeah, your brand is completely dead, and switching brands did, like, absolutely kill uh, your success online. Yeah, that's true, um, but, you know, truthfully, hey, it happens, things go to hell, and truthfully, with the way you think, uh, it's probably gonna happen anyway, because people do actions based on their 
understand the world, right? Their actions don't create understanding. Your understanding creates action. So it's like, it's gonna happen in some way anyway. Might as well just go with it, which, hey, you know what? That sucks that you're probably gonna have to move back with your parents, but you know what? Maybe you'll be able to bounce back. Maybe it'll be a good thing. Anyway, gamers, guys, I wanna talk more about my gameplay theories. And so I think in the future, I've actually been re revisiting a lot of them and like reestablishing a lot of my ideas. And I think I'm gonna revisit some of those in the future, but I really wanna talk about my gameplay um, theories because it to me it's an incredible theory and everybody always asks me does this apply to it has a spear in it obviously applies to spear in applies to the past does it apply to shorter games does this apply to melee does this apply to things outside of gaming the answer to all of these questions is always 100 percent emphatically it's always yes the answer is always yes because the truth about gameplay theory is that it's a theory of behavior it changes your behaviors if you have no behaviors it's not going to apply to it so if you just look at gambling you can't naturalize gambling you can't become better at gambling this isn't even true you actually can because there's a lot of decisions um latent and explicit decisions that you have to make when it comes to gambling like Meta decisions. So like within the game, you're, there's no decisions, but outside of the game, there are a lot of decisions. So yes, anything, literally anything that has behaviors, this is a theory that changes, doesn't necessarily improve your behaviors. It'll change your behaviors, but it changes your behaviors based on how you think. And so if you think smarter, if you think better, it will improve your behaviors. So the short answer is yes, it actually improves your behaviors. It makes you better at literally anything. Um, as long as it's, be, it's behavioral based, as long as there's behaviors, you can optimize them, you can naturalize them, you can make them more natural, make it more reliable, more consistent, better, smarter, faster. It's literally a theory that changes your, how you do behaviors, which changes your behaviors, changes your strategies, it changes everything. It's anyway guys, if you wanna, um, if you want a shortcut, buy my t-shirt at teespring.com slash WQ shop and you become alpha gamer, you become a real alpha gamer. Um, but I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to stay, stay real, stay 100% guys. I will see you guys later um, and uh, have a good day guys. Baby.